I feel a profound sense of gratitude as I rise today to speak to the descendants of the brave warriors who fought in the Anglo Zulu War of 1879. I'm grateful to His Majesty, our King, for gathering our Mobutu, as will happen later at the museum, His Majesty will be present. We're just here because we couldn't split into two many people. So I have had to do this unveiling here. And I'm grateful to, to the Wazul Natal Provincial Government and to the Amafa Research Institute for erecting the memorials that we are unveiling today. And it is important to record that Amafa and Wazul Natal have done so of their own initiative. Neither, neither the Kosa family nor the Butelezi family requested them to honor our forebears. This is truly a convergence of significant events. For these memorials, honor two of the key figures of the Battle of Sangha. The first commander is the commander in chief of all the regiments of the king, as Dr. Kosa himself explained, and Prime Minister Yamana Ganelele. The second honor is the general who received instruction from Yaman and the Prime Minister and Commander-in-Chief to lead specifically the King's regiments into the battle on the 22nd of January 1879. Was in order of all the regiments, was not the only one regiment went to Isandana. So as a grandson of Nyamana, I feel tremendously proud to see these memorials unveiled today. 
Also, the descendant of King Pichuayo on my mother's side, I feel equally proud. I'm certain that because of families, all the descendants of the warriors of the Konga, of the Kosa family, are equally proud as I am. To know today that we're honoring General Timor Mahol, Katini Lumuso Kosa is present, as you have seen, with us to witness this unveiling. The work that the Muzo Kosa is doing is actually very significant. He's preserving the heritage of the Zulu people. He's preserving the important themes of our nation, which I really not known by the present generation, which are, 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 are forgotten also by a few older people of them. But I, I get very faint pain very often when you know, the in front of the king, when they start these songs, you know, on the wrong notes. You know, for instance, one of King Kajoyo's hymns, after the Battle of Nordnexuga, where his, uh, his regiments fought with the regiments of his brother, Beazi, in the Barakalo Muni. Kona Uksaba, Uksaba Mkatin, Kamasaguiz, which we have to manage, Kavati. Do <laughs> And I appreciate his commitment to opening an institute where Zulu culture will take center stage. Dr. Koza has also founded the Sundown a commemorative walk, which sees young artists and influencers walk, take a walk from Ondin. Was I sitting on Ondin? What a moment, who's Ondin? That is locative. I think that the Professor Numaro, I don't know who I'm going on, but I'm certain the red works of 
Grama, zero grama X bij zeggers. Klemmen. Jok, lek jok. Dat is een lokketje ondien. Hoor ik dat? Dat wil ik wat je doen. Dat is een zaakje doen. En bij de ene. Jim. Kazi. We may as only in way. I as a loon. So the walk was started by Mr. Bursakos, remembering the path. It was traveled by those who fought for our kingdom's sovereignty. It is my privilege to support this walk, and I do so again today, as I thank Bursakos and, and wish all the participants, if they they are going to undertake the walk, a, a meaningful journey. This walk to Isangana was led by Uchengwai Wamahol on the instruction of the commander of the army of the king, Yaman of Tillis. Each year, as we remember the Battle of Isangana, we remember the courage of our forebears and the difficult struggle they endured to ensure the survival of our kingdom and our nation. Remember His Majesty King Tejoa Yogambande and how the British Red Coats invaded Zululand, believing that they could easily conquer and substitute one of the most powerful nations in Africa at that time. In fact, they thought they were going on a picnic where their superior arms were only our spears, equal. The Josie and, and our height, how, how, how height, uh, shields, that's all. You know? So that I believe on that day, Lord Chelmsford was actually not even in the, uh, in the camp. He was somewhere else. And I believe that he was at breakfast, he was using it. It was served with silver, with silver to, to enjoy his breakfast. Not knowing that they tried to do which is remembered even, it will be remembered even after all of us are gone, took place. Many of the descendants are still alive. That is why we have people like Mr. Kaiser, Kaiser Kosa here sitting next to me. We will talk about our forebears who participated on that great day. Some, as I say, are therefore fortunately with us on this occasion. We remember the ultimate tragedy of the Battle of Ondin on the 4th of July, 1879, and the subsequent division of our kingdom by Lord Kimberley, the Secretary of Colonies. Because when His Majesty King Tejoy went to Britain, his aim was to have eyeball to eyeball discussion with the monarch of the British, who at the time was Queen Victoria. But at that time, and students of constitution, constitutional law, such as myself, would know that already at that time, the British had the constitutional monarch so the, the, the monarch would not be involved in the discussions with, with, the, with the king. And instead, Lord Kimberley, who was the secretary of all, of all the colonies of Britain, conducted the discussion. Although Queen Victoria accepted, he, he welcomed the king with warmth. In fact, at the only museum. What do you call it? At the museum here, really, we have got a cup, a cup, a silver cup, which on that occasion Queen Victoria gave to our king. And I also wanted to show a picture, a, rather a painting, which Queen Victoria ordered that a very famous artist at that time saw should paint of, of King Tejoy. So he received them with very, very great 
We receive the king. Our king with great wounds. I've spoken many times about Isandana and about my maternal grand grandfather, King Sejoy. I've spoken about my maternal grandfather, Yaman Aptilis, the king's prime minister. And how much It was injured. But alongside more than a thousand men also laid their lives together with his brother, one of Yamana's son, Utumelan, who also laid down his life on that day. Sanbakuni, <laughs> Because what he was cutting, because it is what Jim Tanukan said, I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't then <laughs> Isso a Yamana, Wenzel, <laughs> <laughs> 
to the Prince of Wales, who is now His Majesty King Charles. That was because he was a conservationist like myself, and because of the history of the Zulu, which actually is amazing because it creates a mutual respect between the British people and the Zulu people. His Majesty King is very tiny, but actually accompanied by their worships, the, the mayors of Lundi, uh, Mayor of Zululand, and the Mayor of and the Mayor of Mizigat. When was invited to Wales. A few years later, I was introduced myself as the descendant of the Commander-in-Chief by the Welsh Army. Which is the Welsh Army that actually participated in the Anglo-Zulu War. The descendant on it, so on. I was, I was actually very honoured because the Welsh Army, the patron of the Welsh Army was Queen Elizabeth II. And in the previous occasion, where they, they say they eat the leek, the location where the soldiers eat the leek. I was the second person, and I was saluted by, by the army, the Welsh army, mm -hmm. in honor of what the Zulu people did in 1879. And through my communication with, with the present king of Britain, who was then Prince of Wales, he appealed to me that we must make sure that the graves of soldiers and regiments of the king and the are well known. In fact, when he visited South Africa for the first time, we were supposed to, to unveil the, the monument at, at uh, Sandal with, with him. But politics came in. I think some people thought it that it was too good for me. <coughs> so subsequently, we enjoyed a cup of tea together with the, with the Prince of Wales in, in Cape Town. And I asked, I said, Your Royal Highness, what happened? And he said to me, what happened? That did not happen. So there is that mutual respect which was created by the kind of valor which was demonstrated in such quantities by that hero of today that were here to honor. Sunday, Ngakho ke ngikubuzana kwaba into ayingena ukugwemeka ngenxa iyenhloso ezimbi zalaba abe hahela izolesilo zokuluka phansi isisi sisi ubukhlobo basebenziwe inkosi ubani phakathi kw
Så sådan din sat kaffe, og så siger jeg sjov. Når vi sagde det, så kunne jeg tage med dig på, når vi tænker 8 februar, og 8 minutter i få. Ungdørene, kartellen. Ungdørene, vi går sådan til døje. Ungdørene, vi går sådan til døje. Ungdørene, vi går sådan til døje. Jeg må sige, at jeg tror, at jeg kan finde en gang. Jeg tror, at jeg kan finde en gang. Jeg må sige, at jeg kan finde en gang. Jeg må sige, at jeg kan finde en gang. Jeg må sige, at jeg kan finde en gang. Jeg må sige, at jeg kan finde en gang. Jeg må sige, at jeg kan finde en gang. Jeg må sige, at jeg kan finde en gang. Jeg må sige, at jeg kan finde en gang. Wei nama saya, anda kau ke? Dia kumpula, miskati, bonyama, umzawami, kau siapa siapa kau ke? Kau siapa yang sihir? Kau ia kumpula, ia le 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 Zali singali ni mnyo wa bongo bonyam. Kusi ya bongo hati, kusi ya mnyo, kusi ya kule hati na zinda zaha. Mwai, mnyo mskete, mwai, oh! Kusi zinda zaha. Kwa 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 Kata awak sih lagi, awak nak sesuatu gol, awak fikir lagi semua percaya ni. Kau bisa kubur ingat apa yang belan dua sih tu sahijin ni apa? Siapa yang pamer dengan nama saya? Nampak, aku tu cuma busuk kau je, macam kubur yang pamer. Kubur ni lagi tu belan dua, ingat apa sih tu sahijin? Aku jangan wesud, ingat apa itu ni? Kudo aku. Ingat aku ingat aku pas tu ni jadi orang tu, ni aku ni elang dia lepas tu ni sering ayo, no kerja kau lah ni lah ayo, kau tu jalan yang cawas tu, tu masih cuma cakap cakap, aku masih mungkin. Ungu apa kau champion yang sandal, buat mama bisnes sul, kau ingat pula ayo, esen sul ni esen tu full ayo. Kau kau ikat aku mungkin, mungkin mungkin, cing semua ban. Fikir aku yang itu, apa orang yang main jo? Fikir di cintu yang zanda, ini moya orang mau pergi, mesti susah juga. Mungkin ada orang kos gazi, kami mesti open high mah. Australia, kau ni guru moya sama lekha yang jual apa ya? The Bertrand Hast series. Yo guru moya, ini cakap yang guru moya mana? Ini skat, high pun jalan yang incomparable. Tak boleh ni aje ikut lah macam mana ni ane. Sabar lah, saya 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 tak lalu. Kau buat jual lah mandi. Lah mandi saya kau ni kau ni mana? Nanti saya mesti cuba air tengok kau lah mandi. Esok kau ni nasi tanah ni sebukus. Ini saya jual kau ni ama. Ini saya jual kau jual sih. Ini saya nasi tanah ni saya isi. Isi lo. Kau tuh susun singkap tuh susun. Nah, ini kau ni amik agak salah satu yang saya isu. Isu susun tuh susun. Ya, isu kat sana. Nah, ini agak kau ni salah satu yang saya isu kau ni ama. Ma pun saya nak tuh susun. Nah, ini agak salah satu yang saya isu. Isu itu tuh susun. Bukan jauh nih, nah, orang ni agak salah satu yang saya isu kau ni amik tuh cuma gampang. Agak salah satu yang Saya dah membuat komposisi silo kima. Ingatnya masih juga dalam sini. Saya kubera nombiru, orang nombiru, silo korin so. Oh ini nombi, orang ibu terasa susu silo apa ibu umi, susu leman dulu, lesisu. Dah kian sesudah, dia official as as a picture. Kau pergi ke sana picture lagi silo. Jadi lah, mereka mahu yang lain ber, bukan dia bangak orang masa tu. Jadi tu terus aku itu. Esok ni ngoyang mahu yang itu. 